Orlando is one of eight cities in the country chosen to be a part of a study that could change who can donate potentially life-saving blood. Fox 35's Holly Bristow has a closer look at this plan and who it would impact. We know that after the horrific tragedy at Pulse nightclub, there were so many gay and bi men here in Central Florida and around the country who wanted to donate blood um, to save lives, uh, especially to save those uh, from the LGBTQ community who were clinging to life in hospitals right here in Orlando. But they couldn't. Right now, gay and bisexual men are unable to donate blood if it's been less than three months since their last sexual contact. Now the FDA is funding a study to see if it's time to change that policy. One Blood's Susan Forbes explains what the advanced study is. This policy now would be looking at individual risk assessment versus that time-based deferral. And that's the big change that we're looking at. Orlando is one of a handful of cities in the country participating in this study. A one-time blood sample is being taken by appointment at the center. Participants must be gay or bi men between the ages of 18 and 39 years old. Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith's husband is participating. He said it was easy, that it was straightforward and taken very much time. Participants must come back to fill out a questionnaire a few months later, and that's it. He says that's a small sacrifice that could be part of a major change. In Orlando, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News. Well, participants are being compensated for their time. If you're interested in participating in the study, just go to our website, fox35orlando.com, and click on the link to this story.